Welcome to the future Chicken Today Show. Coming at you from the bio born in 2050. I'm Circuitry. With our host, Potato the Chicken, Frittata the Egg, and Rocket Pants. Hello, Planet Protectors. We've got a great show today featuring phenomenal guest and beekeeper Elizabeth Downs and... Whoa, 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 whoa. You seem extra sunny side up today. Zippy is a more accurate description. Yes, yes, yes. I feel good. Whoa. Any particular reason why? But why? There's so many reasons why. The birds are chirping, the sun is shining. He ate a muffin. <sighs> what kind was it? The most amazing muffin in the history of the world. I bought it at a bake sale. Oh, I love potato peel corn muffins. Was that the kind that you had? No, no, it was... Oh, oh and you know... Oh, oh and, and when I bit into it... Mm, this muffin was so tasty. It defies being named, but it makes me want to spin. Uh, uh oh. Um, help? My sensors detect a key sticky ingredient in that mouthwatering confection. Sticky, huh? What's the ingredient, RP? Cannot compute. Someone speared that sticky sweetness on my scanner. I told you I'd clean it off after eating my muffin. No worries. Come on over so we can crack the case of the mysterious muffin. Uh, uh, I would, but uh, given my current situation... Reverse thrusters activated. Oh. So, there was a sticky ingredient inside the muffin that was sweet? Oh, yes. The sweetest of sweets. Golden color? The goldenest. And was the bake sale directly across the street from the bio bar? Affirmative. That sweet golden goodness you are tasting. And wearing... Is honey. Uh -huh. Of course, our neighbors are beekeepers. Yes, they take care of one of the most important, hardworking creatures on the planet. And the honey they collect is sold at the market for others to enjoy. W wait a sweet second. I heard that bees make honey from their butt. <laughs> is that true? Negative. A bee's nectar is stored in their second stomach. Phew. Wait. Bees have two stomachs? <laughs> I could pack a lot of muffins into two stomachs. <laughs> a bee stores the honey in its second stomach, and when it returns to the hive, it gets regurgitated from one bee to another and another until it becomes honey. <gasps> so Frittata ate recycled bee spit? <laughs> My sensors detect an element of grossness, but also fascination. These are absolutely fascinating. Without them, we wouldn't have most of the food we enjoy. Correct. One out of every three bites of food people eat exist because of pollinators like bees. One in three bites? And to think there was a time when people didn't realize how important bees are. We're just scratching the surface. Let's time twist in today's guest, Elizabeth Downs, who takes care of over nine hives of bees and she's only 11 years old. Buzzing with excitement here. Time twisting in Elizabeth in three, two, one. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, hi, Frittata. Hello. Can you tell the kids listening today how and when did you become interested in beekeeping? I started beekeeping when I was six. I was really into gardening, and the person who helps us with our garden had a neighbor that had bees, and I really enjoyed it. Wow! Can you tell us why bees are so important to our planet? Bees in general are the number one pollinators, but honeybees, they pollinate 30% of all pollination. So if they go extinct, we'll have some food, but it will be very scarce, and we won't live for very long. That's a scary thought, but you know what? Are there some things that you can tell us that we can do to help save the bees? You can plant flowers that helps. Not using pesticides, even if they're organic, they still harm the bees. You can also become a beekeeper. Buzz. What 
exactly does a beekeeper do? We go into the hive and we look for eggs, larvae, and brood. Brood is basically just baby bees. Once we find all of those, we also want to find the queen to make sure that she's still in there. And we just want to make sure they have enough food. Wow, so you make sure that they're healthy and not getting sick. Yeah. How many hives do you have? I have nine hives. Incredible. And how many bees are in each hive? There are about 30,000 to 60,000 bees in each hive. What? Wow, that is a lot of bees. <laughs> Elizabeth, can I tell you a joke? What does a bee use to style their hair? Isn't it a honeycomb? Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Speaking of honey, you donate the honey you get from bees to charity. Can you share a little bit about that? I sell my honey and then I use the money that I get and I put it to different funds, like give people Mexico hives. I also donated some money to my church to help fix the roof. Wow. It's like this beautiful cycle where you help the bees and then the bees help you. What can bees teach? us about helping each other. When there's one bee that needs help, like if one bee gets a glob of honey on it, say, all the other bees just stop what they're doing and help clean up that bee. Like if someone's in need, we just need to stop and help them. That is a great lesson to learn from bees. Love your neighbors. Oh yeah! How do bees talk to each other? They actually use pheromones. What's that? They're just smells. They have really strong sense of smell, and that's how they communicate. Or sometimes they do a waggle dance. <gasps> it's a dance where they are just like spinning around, and then they wiggle in the direction of a flower. What? Thank you so much for sharing your knowledge. You're welcome. Thank you for inviting me. Elizabeth knows so much about bees. It's got my head buzzing. Me too, and I do not have a head. But you've got a big heart, RP, just like Elizabeth. Once she connected to the bees, she realized how important they were to the ecosystem and helps protect them by creating pollinator-friendly spaces. Well, I'm gonna connect with bees too. Hit it, DJ Rocky P. I used to think bees were a stinging crew, but they're mighty pollinators and work together too. So let's plant more flowers and do the waggle dance. Melt the fuzzy fuzzies and give them a chance. Buzz. Great song, Frittata. Kids everywhere are helping to protect and promote the well-being of bees. That song is gonna attract a lot of buzz on TikTok. <laughs> You just gave me an idea on what we can do for them. Cool. Wait, what is it? It's a surprise. While Frittata puts together our surprising big idea, let's time twist beekeeper Elizabeth back because it's game time. Time twister portal opening in three, two, one. We're going to play a game. It's called How Do You. You ready? How do you relax? I usually just like do breathing exercises or stress balls. How do you have fun? Biking, I really like biking. How do you introduce yourself to a new friend? I usually say, hi, I'm Elizabeth. You can call me Ear Liz. Nice. How do you talk to your bees to cheer them up? Like how I would normally talk to anyone. Like, you're doing a great job. Keep going, worker bees. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, taters, guess what I'm doing? Um, is that your I want another honey muffin dance? No, it's my waggle dance. You know, the one that bees do to show everyone else where the nectar is? Correct. It is like a GPS navigation system for bees to help them find nectar-rich flowers. And my waggle dance is going to lead the bees to our big surprise. Show them, Rocky, old buddy. Ta-da! Our very own Pollinator Garden Bee Resort, combined with Bee Hotel and Water Spa. It's beautiful! How did you know what to plant? Technically, it is best to use colorful, native plants, ones that come from the area you live in. Native plants bloom through different seasons to attract many animals and insects, most especially... Bees! By my calculations, not everyone has the space for a garden, so they can put native plants in pots, on steps, or on their balconies. 
Good thinking. I can't wait to team up to create our Pollinator Garden B Resort. Affirmative. We decided to plant the garden by the chicken coop, where it will get optimal sun. And excellent chicken compost. Right. So get your fuzzy buzzies ready, because we're starting tomorrow. <laughs> wow, the honeybees are going to love it. Maybe we should share the great news with our beekeeping neighbors. Wait, does this mean I get to eat more of their beelicious honey muffins? Maybe we can all waggle dance over and taste them now. <laughs> Hey, Potato, guess what I am? Zub, 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 zub. Uh, broken? No, <laughs> a backwards B. Ha ha, ha 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 That is funny. Bring them up and back for me. Thanks for joining us today, Planet Protectors. May your day be as sweet as honey. And remember, together we make the future. Buzz, 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 buzz.